Hello, my name is Dave Stukas, and I'm a board-certified pediatric allergist, and today I'd like to talk to you about common misconceptions and myths involving inhaled corticosteroids. Inhaled steroids are common medications that we use to treat asthma. Asthma is a chronic condition that's hallmarked by inflammation and irritation deep inside the airways, as well as episodes where the airways squeeze and tighten very suddenly. For many people with persistent asthma, it's important that they control their inflammation on a regular basis so that symptoms may not occur quite as frequently or be as severe when they do happen. In order to achieve this, inhaled steroids are often used on a consistent basis in order to help treat that inflammation. These medications are extremely effective when used in the proper doses and with the right technique. However, there are many misconceptions regarding the word steroid, and many people become very frightened about steroids. When used properly, Inhaled steroids are delivered to the lungs with very minimal side effects throughout the rest of the body. This is very different than receiving steroids by mouth or through an intravenous line, uh, in which case the steroid concentration is very high and gets delivered throughout the rest of the body. There are a few common misconceptions regarding steroids that we frequently hear as physicians, and it's important not only to, not only to understand what these are, but to address them with people um, because if we don't talk about them, they'll be less likely to use these medications and they won't be nearly as effective. Inhaled steroids are most effective when they're used every single day, often twice a day, even when symptoms aren't present. Many people have concerns and misconceptions about the side effects associated with steroids, thinking that they'll cause big muscles or side effects similar to people who use steroids for weightlifting or things along those lines. Or they're even concerned that they may cause the side effects associated with oral steroids or IV steroids such as weight gain um, and irritation of the stomach or cataracts. That simply doesn't occur when inhaled steroids are used in the proper dose and with the proper technique. There are some side effects that can occur which are somewhat common. Most of these involve local deposition of the medication inside the mouth or inside the throat. It's recommended that anybody who uses inhaled steroids both use a spacer device to help with the proper delivery of the medicine to the lungs and also rinse their mouth out and spit after they use it. In addition, there's been some evidence that has shown that for young children who use inhaled steroids on a regular basis, they may not grow quite as tall into adulthood. This difference is approximately one centimeter, or about half of an inch. So it's a fine balance of using the proper dose of the steroid with managing asthma because poor asthma control can lead to increased symptoms, poor quality of life, and more need for oral steroids or IV steroids which have greater side effects. So this is something that's very important to understand and to discuss with your physician. In addition to the concerns about side effects, people also have concerns about steroids uh, wearing off over time. And if they take this medication every day, that it won't have the same effect if they use it on a regular basis. This simply is not true. The method by which steroids work inside the body does not allow your body to become um, used to them or to decrease the effectiveness over time. And most people with asthma need to use these medications consistently and daily for years and years and years, and they work very well that way. And lastly, another common misconception or myth that we hear about inhaled steroids is that people will become dependent on them and that their disease or their asthma will not actually get better on its own if they use these medications consistently. Again, this simply is not true. These medications don't really alter the disease, unfortunately. They don't cure the disease. I wish we had a cure for asthma, but we don't at this time. But they can help manage the disease. There's no dependency that occurs over time, and they can be very useful when used for long periods of time. So with those um, few misconceptions, that hopefully gives you a better understanding of how inhaled steroids work inside the body and some of the myths that surround these medications. As always, I strongly recommend that you discuss any concerns you may have with your personal physician to see what they have to say as well.